Right. In this question, we're told that the area bounded by an X, an X line, a Y curve, and another Y curve will have the following expression, integral from A to B of G of X minus F of X, plus integral from B to C of F of X minus G of X. I'm going to draw a quick sketch of the functions, a quick sketch of what's going on here. We have our x-axis, we have our y-axis. One of the easy ones to draw is x is equal to 6. I'm going to assume it's over here, but it might be over here. Right? It just depends what our other x values are. And then 18 minus 3x, it is a line with a negative slope and a positive intercept, so it's going to have this type of a shape but I don't really want to draw it yet. The 24 over x is a hyperbola that has this shape. I don't want to draw it either, not yet. Let's look for the points of intersection of the curves. Look or where do y equals 18 minus 3x and y is equal to 24 over x cross. So let's set them equal. y equals y. 18 minus 3x is equal to 24 over x. We can cross multiply by x. 18x minus 3x squared is equal to 24. Then add everything to the right hand side, or move everything to the right hand side. So I'm going to subtract 18x from both sides. I'm going to add 3x squared to both sides. So we'll have 3x squared minus 18x plus 24 is equal to 0. Divide all the pieces by 3. So x squared minus 6x plus 4, no, plus 8 is equal to 0. And then we have to factor. We'll factor the quadratic using the product and sum method. So we will have x and x mystery numbers. When the mystery numbers multiply, they give us positive 8. And when they add, they give us negative 6. So it's going to be negative 2 and negative 4. And that means our two solutions are x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4. Those are the, the locations where the curves cross. So 2 and 4. And then I'll, let's see, x is 6, it's actually like this. If you plug in 6 for x into 18 minus 3x, you get 18 minus 18, which is 0. So the y value of this straight line, the slope negative 3, 0 there, crosses there. And then the hyperbola, which I'll indicate in green, it crosses this line we just found at these two points. So I'll shade in the area that we've identified as having to be calculated. So that's the area. And we're going to go an integral from A, the lower bound from 2 to 4 of the top curve, which is the line 18 minus 3x, and then minus the bottom curve, which is a hyperbola 24 over x. So we're going from 2 to 4, that's your A and your B plus integral from b, 4 to 6 of the top curve there is going to be 24 over x, the hyperbola, minus the bottom curve is the, is the blue line, 18 minus 3x. So we're going up to 6. So those are, those are your numbers 2, 4, and 6. Did a little bit of extra work, but that's just to fully solve the problem. Or not fully solve it, but at least fully express what the area expression looks like.